you can see all of this in the stream. Click on, you know, reset. The first thing to see all of this in OBS. What's happening guys? My name is Alex. Welcome to a new OBS tutorial. It is Tuesday, so it means the first video of today. It's 3.30, so you guys know, always know there is like an OBS tutorial today. And exactly two hours from now, there will be another OBS tutorial. But in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to get like a timer or like a countdown. Or like, you know, like a counter that's going up, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to show you guys how to get that and how to configure it in, I mean, OBS. So you can just, you know, configure um, the countdown for like when you're streaming live. All of that's coming up, so make sure to smash the like button down below for more videos videos and also subscribe button so I would say let's jump straight into the video okay guys so as you guys can see we are in OBS and the first thing you want to do is you want to create a new scene I'm going to click on this one I'm going to preview stream so I can see what we're actually doing so in order to get you know the countdown you need to install something uh, which is called SNAS so what we're gonna do is we are gonna go to our browser we're gonna go to Google the thing we need to install is SNAS just click, you know click on that and then we can click on this one for obsproject.com and you want to download now let's see what it what it takes so it's snatch is actually you can make a timer countdown calendar up all that kind of stuff so basically i'm you need to just click on download snaz then it, you, normally it's yeah there we have it that is going to be the snaz setup click on open go to or downloads we're going to just you know run it we'll click on let's see the name is english of course that the language is english click on next next snaz next now it's installing 12 seconds later launch snaz we click on finish boom and guys i know like snaz it looks really really difficult like right now what, what, what the hell is this but it's actually pretty easy so first of all is this is your output format so this is what you're going to see like hours minutes seconds this is just your current time like when i was recording is exactly 4 p.m so this is just your time you can also have your time in the screen underneath it we have our date you can also have the date in the screen and here at the bottom it says countdown to a specific time so let's say we want to count down so we are just gonna pick our date which is january 19th 0 2016 and let's say we are going to count down to 5 p.m which is in about an hour we click on start and as you guys can see it's going to take 59 more minutes and seconds you can also that's a countdown and you're probably thinking like alex how do i get that in obs well it's well it's really simple so let's just you know like do it like what it is like this i'm just going to stop it for a second then to count up is you're going to go to chronos and you see chrono down you can count down and you can actually and you can also count up so let's say if i click on start you'll see that the countdown is started right here. You can see all of this in the stream. So I'm clicking on stop, click on, you know, reset. So the first thing to see all of this in OBS, you want to also have this running while you're streaming. Don't close this because your countdown or time will freeze. So always leave this open. So what we're going to do is we're going to back to OBS like this. Boom. Then we're going to take our snaz. And basically the first thing you want to do is, you know, decide what you want. So let's say the most obvious thing is like where you can see the date or time. So, actually as you can see this is just your current pc time i'm just gonna try to copy this in obs so the first thing you want to do is you can also choose if you want to have pm or just you know 24 i just i just use this instead of you know am and pm so the first thing you want to do is the only thing you need to do actually to make this work is you want to click on copy path to clipboard that's what we have then you want to click on obs add text let's say we're going to call this time click on OK then you don't want to use you want to, you don't want to enter text but you click on use text from file press ctrl V and then basically you can make the text bigger I'm just gonna let's, I'm just gonna put 80 and let's see what how it looks if I press OK you can customize it with different fonts and colors and stuff but let's see how it looks right now boom there we have our freaking time that's how simple it is guys and you can make it bigger and smaller if you want to so let's so let's take snaz and that's basically how it works and as you guys can see there we have our time that's how simple it is you, you just want to go to snaz you want to choose what you want to have in the screen and also let's say okay i want to have like uh, the date in the screen you just want to click on copy path to clipboard go back to obs edit it and then you want to do properties you want to fill in the path like right here press ctrl v boom and then 
there we have our freaking dates that's how easy it is and you can put it like anywhere in your stream and let's say we need we, we want to have like a countdown so i'm just click on start and i'm click just click on copy path to clipboard like every like always what you want to do you want to go back properties you know control press control v and there we have the countdown to 5 p.m. This is how you get your countdown. It's so, 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 so simple. Uh, you can actually just do anything anything you need to do. Like, if you want to have it, just copy. Copy path to clipboard. Copy path to clipboard. Like, all of this. This is there for the time. This for the date. This for the countdown. And you're going to go to Kronos. And it works the same here. Like, if you want to, like, you want to go up. Like this. Boom. It started. And you want to see your count. You know, when it's going up, your chrono. Uh, just click on copy path to clipboard. Go back to OBS click on properties and just paste it and as you guys can see when i paste it it's going to live actually and you click on ok and you can give it like different fonts don't get me wrong you can add like way more different fonts and you know you can change the color of the text that is basically how simple it is you can just choose the color as you guys can see uh and that is how awesome it works that's how it works guys it's really awesome and you can choose the color and i don't know that's basically how cool it is you can use an outline uh of which of any color you like let's let's pick like pink or like red like if i click on okay boom we have just a right, nice outline you can also make like the background uh like have a color you can also make it scroll if you want to basically that is how awesome it is that's how you can fill in your time your counter your countdown your dates anything that was the video guys it's really awesome and i want to thank you guys for watching that's what's similar to this and if you want to see more of those obs tutorials every every tuesday at 3 30 and 5 30 pm pst make sure to smash the like button down below and also the subscribe button so you won't miss out any new videos i'll see you guys in two hours from now for the last episode of today uh at 5 30 pm pst so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in a bit I'm gonna give you guys six tips for beginner drivers. My name's LDHH Official. As yeah. always. Yeah. And I upload one video every day of the week, except on Saturday and Sunday. I'm just gonna start streaming live. First question for today. Ooh. So that's gonna be through this hall. It's gonna be pretty dark. So we have the door. Future your calendar, your question. I'll see you guys in the next video.